How do you tell one zebra from another? By looking at their stripes with a special software that can identify their natural barcode. It has allowed conservationists in Kenya to carry out the Great Gravy Rally, the first ever census of the gravy zebra, whose population has plummeted from an estimated 15,000 in the early 1980s to around 2,500. Because we do have very low populations of gravy zebra numbers, every individual that is killed, whether it's for their meat, for their meat or um, due to poaching, for example, for their skins, which doesn't happen so often these days, all of those, effect, all of those incidences do have a significant impact on gravy zebra populations. Using citizens as scientists, they have been able to count the zebra species. 50 vehicles loaded with teams of scientists, conservationists and volunteers have been photographing every gravy zebra with digital cameras to allow for geotagged images that can be used to process the numbers, location and time. To analyze the results and determine the population of gravy zebras, the sensors will use a new software called Hotspotter that was designed at Princeton University in the United States, which uses image-based ecological information systems. It looks for areas on the body where the stripes are bent and they intersect with each other and they record data and call, we call them hotspots. And what it does is it compares all the hotspots on the current picture with the hotspot locations on all the pictures in the archive. And when there's a high match, we get a high score and then we know it's the same individual. Hotspotter is currently analyzing all of the data that has been gathered. The results, due at the end of March, will estimate the size of the gravy zebra population throughout Kenya.